Greeting all. This is Pulsar speaking. Today we are working with uh, Creative AI Pictures. I'll be the artist today, or at least the assistant. We'll be using Leonardo AI to try to be creative, making our own pictures. Nothing has been done in advance. Everything will be done with you. So let's jump to it and start Leonardo. Yes, here, Leonardo. Leonardo AI is an AI that is a specialist in making pictures. There's a lot of engines here. You can see some of them up here. Um, what we will try today is use uh, the Dreamscape V7 uh, and see if we can get something out of it. You can see some of the pictures underneath where we creative. It's uh, medium strength. It has a training resolution and uh, it uses some different tools. So let's try. Um, I have made some pictures here before. We're not going to look at them today. We are going to start a whole new one. Um, what we start with is to make a prompt. And a prompt is something I type up here. You can uh, generate one. You can uh, get all different kinds of things. The prompt is a text-based explanation for the AI to use. And from that prompt it will try to make uh, your pictures so let's start what i will start with is that i really want to try something creative so follow me here So, a broken glass heart uh, in the front of the picture, high resolution. A background with astronomy with uh, what shall we do what shall we do so this is my prompt let's see what we can get out of it a broken glass heart in the front of the picture, high resolution, background with astronomy reflecting against the water surface. So here is some of the, the things you can do. Um, a negative prompt. I have one here. It's one I always use. A negative prompt is actually trying to tell the AI that it needs to be uh, creative, but avoid these things. And uh, a lot of the uh, artists in here use the same, uh, where you can see deformed hands, twisted fingers, double, double image, etc. Uh, you have a lot of different uh, possibilities. Over here you can choose how many images uh, do we want. I want to see if my prompt is totally fucked up. Sorry for my language. So I'll just make one. It, uh, it The tokens will be less. If we make two, you can see um that the tokens will be more if i make two pictures uh especially if i use some of the photo reel here we don't want that uh, here we will try alchemy and see alchemy is a powerful new image generator pipeline and uh, photo reel is uh, our latest innovation making a powerful design to generate hyper realistic so it's very realistic i would like to be very creative today so we are not doing the realistic ones. Uh, I always make public image when I know they are getting okay. Uh, the input dimension, let's try with this one. We can go higher up. It will be a higher solution. Um, there's some advanced controls. How big is the picture gonna be? And uh, how is the guidance scale? And this one is important. Um, it's disabled while using alchemy because alchemy is the creative tool 
and um, and there's a few other things we will not do right now. More important is let's ta try to generate two images and see where we are. So we do here generate the pictures. It will start with two pictures. See if it can do it. Sometimes you get something that is really weird. And as, as English is not, you can hear that, it's not my true language, first language. So I'll have to uh, try and see where I am. But uh, it's generating. Normally it's finished around 24, 25. See, okay. So it makes it hyper realistic. Uh, I'm, I can't see the astronomy background, so it didn't understand the background with, with astronomy. So I need to go into space, but the broken glass heart is, uh, I would like a, a better shape of the heart, but they are actually very, very nice, very creative. You have uh, the reflection against the water surface. That's, that's fine. So now it has made its first draft into what we expect. We can now either terminate them, delete them, or we can delete the, the ones we have. If we keep on where we are, we will need to change the prompt. And then uh, it will work in the same direction. So let, let's try if we can change the prompt. What we would like is uh, something from space instead. Outer space. So let's try that. Where I think we will uh, we will go with generating two pictures again. Thinking. I could work with something like a floating broken glass. Um, see here, it really gets the heart way better. You have you have the background with stars. I really like uh, both pictures actually. This one is uh, it's not reflecting directly on the uh, water surface. This one has a water surface surface, but well, I actually like them. These uh, two I would uh, really like to have, to work with. Uh, so what can we change? Here we have the heart, uh, and we can use this as a guidance input. So let's try that. Uh, we use this as a guidance input now, and um, and it will use it as its primary you can see the strength here it will go with image to image so it says that it will use this image as a basis so now if we do i would like to have it floating float floating broken glass heart in the front of the picture high resolution Outer space with stars reflecting against the water surface. Let's try that. So, as we use this image, it should at least use it as a reference from the, the next two pictures it's going to generate. So, we should be able to keep the heart. Even though I like the picture with the, with this broken one, uh, yeah. So it keeps the heart. Can you see that? But I can't get it to float. I would like to have it higher. So what do we do? Uh, instead of floating. And I think the surface is uh, is not really good. So 
outer space with stars. Let's try that without the uh, the reflecting uh, surface. So what can we do? We want a surface now. I think we'll try without it. So it still has the image guidance. So it should still keep the heart. As you can see here, this image is still, still our guidance. We try to, it's more broken. It still is connected, uh, but there's no water surface now. So it's actually like it's falling from the sky. Mm. It doesn't work for me. The, these are good, really good. That's, that's not the problem. So the prompt is not that bad. You can see which one of uh, one of the pictures you like the most. You can comment if you want; would be great. Uh, but I think we should uh, we should try to remove this as an image again. So I'll remove it and go uh, back to uh, to trying to to get this flying broken glass heart in front of the picture, high resolution, outer space with stars. I would like to lift it off the ground now. To get it up and uh, floating. Maybe instead of uh, a landscape in the background, I would like uh, just stars in outer space. But let's see what we can do. Remember that it's it uses the generated history from earlier. Yeah, there's a better there's a better background in my opinion it's not um, it's not connected with some mountains in the background it's it's in outer space now but it shows that it's grounded can't understand why it keeps grounding it So floating in outer space, see if we can get it off the ground. I think I will generate only one. It doesn't matter. Okay, it, it only takes, I can make two without using more tokens. So we will make two. The heart is really, it, it's, it's actually really, really good. Uh, it's grounded down to, to an earth or at least a planet. <laughs> I really like that one. Um, I think let's use this as an image guidance. And then I have an idea. I really, I love Phoenix. So... Let's see if this can be done. I don't know if it will uh, work at all, but we have made the image guidance. Um, so let's let's try and generate two pictures more. It is it is a bit wild that I try to get something flying out of the glass heart. I'm not sure it understands it. But let's see, generating new pictures. It should keep the planet and uh, the heart intact from it. Oh, wow. Wow. Uh, this one is more broken than this one. Uh, I really like it. Of course, it's not flying out of the glass, but this is where 
you have the creative uh, of the AI. Let, let's look at this picture. What do you think, guys? I love it. So, from that note, I think we will uh, we'll try to say this is the picture for today. Um, it's been fun. I will uh, put the pictures on my my Instagram and of course uh, up to my Pinterest you are welcome to follow me uh, your comments would be great and uh, there's just one thing to say thank you for watching <laughs>